So let's take a quick overview of how to use the gradebook. So we'll log in to our account and go to our course. And we'll click on the gradebook. And this shows all students in our section. If we click on any student, we can get their full record. Now, sometimes students may question how MyOpenMath graded a problem. Well, we can always look over the answers that they entered. For example, this guy asks about how it graded one of the problems from section 9.1. So we'll scroll down, and he thought it gave him an incorrect grade. So let's pull up his assignment and see what he actually wrote. So we'll click on the assignment grade, scroll down to the question. So if we click Preview, we can see what the student actually entered. If we then click on Show Answer, we can see what the answer actually is. And now for the hard part, we have to see what the difference is between what they entered and what the answer actually is. And in this case, we see that the first answer is correct, but the second answer, what the student wrote, has a minus in front of the entire fraction, where the minus should only be in front of the square root of 10. So you could respond directly to the student by clicking on Add Feedback. And this will allow you to type a short message. Now, in this particular case, the student answer is definitely wrong, but there may be cases where the student answer is incorrect, but you may be willing to give them credit for it. For example, maybe they didn't close off the last set of parentheses. If you feel the student's error is minor enough that it warrants a higher credit, you can either change the score directly, or you can simply give them full credit for the problem by clicking on the appropriate spots. So remember, the exams and the final are not done online, which means that these will have to be graded and entered in manually. So here's how to do that. Well, here's how to enter the grades in. You're on your own for actually doing the grading. So again, we'll pull up the gradebook. And if we go all the way to the right, we see we have the columns for exam 1, 2, 3, and the final. So if you click on Scores, This pulls up the roster, and you can enter in the grades, and if you feel like it, throw in some feedback. And Submit records the scores. And so a few weeks later, you have your second exam. So you go through the whole process, scroll to the far right, click on Scores, enter the grades, Click Submit, and similarly for the other two exams. We'll fast forward that process. Now once you have all the grades entered in, the final percentage grade of the student is automatically calculated. And this weighted total column gives the student's final percentage for the course. And so the last thing necessary is to translate this weighted total percentage into a letter grade. 